Thank you. Joining me now is safety expert Steve Edelman. It's a very open race we're talking about here, Steve. I want to just give people um, the latest numbers that we're getting in right now because it's just heartbreaking. 124 people being treated at eight different hospitals, at least 15 in critical condition with everything ranging from bruises to amputations. You went to law school in Boston. We, we've talked about how the city just embraces this event. How do you think what happened today is going to change that? Well, it, it's hard to say right now. It, it's so early. But my guess is, for most people, they'll experience the marathon and Patriots Day much the same way, partly because of architecture. I mean, this is downtown Boston. The Red Sox play early on Patriots Day, so there are fans streaming out of the ballpark, walking just a couple of short blocks to the finish line for the marathon route. There's not a whole lot that can be changed to limit people's access to the finish line. But when we're talking about safety here, we're talking about a completely different event here because for runners, we like our family members to be there with a backpack ready to go with all of our clothes and shoes that we need to change into. Um, I would think that it would be virtually impossible to put a clamp on that. It probably is. I mean, I understand that there's going to be security experts talking about exactly this situation for days to come. Here in the Valley, we have Pat's Run coming on Saturday. Right. Doubtless they are thinking about exactly this sort of issue right now. But because we saw some security changes after the bombing at the Olympics in Atlanta. So is there any way to truly prevent something like this? No. It's a, a city. sad fact. It's a sad fact, but it's the reality of a free society in an urban area. And to some extent, really to a significant extent, we take it as an article of faith that we're going to be safe enough and we agree to look out for each other and then we go on with our lives because that's the way we do things. When you're talking about Pat's Run coming up and any other sporting event, is there anything you would suggest to our viewers at home to give them their own peace of mind and make sure that they're as safe as possible? Oh my God, they're dead. The same things that we always say when we're talking about a movie theater shooting or a supermarket incident or anything else that happens about safety in a public place, keep your eyes open. Look around if there's something that looks funny there are plenty of uniformed security and law enforcement personnel. Go find one of them and say, I saw something, I don't know what it is, but you ought to know about this so that you can make a professional judgment. Is this something that should be dealt with or yeah, not? Yeah, trust your instincts. All right, Steve Edelman, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. See?